Ukraine and Russia recently. Yep. It's basically just drone warfare. What is war going to look like 10 years from now? A lot of things that we're seeing in Ukraine, I think would be different in a conflict with, let's say, uh, a China. I don't think China is going to adopt drones the same way that you've seen heavy adoption in Russia and Ukraine because they have so many people, such an enormous surplus of single men who are never going to get a wife. Their calculus is just completely different. Why would they spend a bunch of money trying to automate a fighter jet when I can just put a person in it? And people say, oh, my, you know, they don't want to lose those pilots. Well, what if I have a war machine that can churn out enormous numbers of pilots? You're going to see this huge divide in how wars are fought between countries that highly, highly value human life and ones that do not value it so highly. China is trying to build a war machine that can cross the Strait of Taiwan, invade Taiwan, and move massive amounts of war material across the sea and the sky into Taiwan so they can occupy it for years and years until things stabilize. That is a very different war machine machine than what Russia has built, which was designed really to fight Europe. And that's very different than what the United States is trying to build for our strategic interest. Most of the systems the United States is building are not tools of conquest. They're tools of protection. We are trying to build stuff that turns all of our allies into prickly porcupines that nobody wants to step on. What is our hottest export? It's Patriot missile batteries. People are not begging us for our most powerful offensive weapons for the most part. They want these extremely powerful defensive tools.